what's going on y'all um i wanted to go ahead and uh, do this video uh for the brothers who are still thinking about obtaining firearms all right um i wanted to go ahead and present this gun to you guys this is a ruger uh sr9c um this is uh a perfect uh carry pistol okay for those who are concerned about <clears throat> you know printing and whatnot um for those who don't know what printing it means, is mean it means that uh, if you're trying to conceal it and you know you throw your shirt over it, you can still see your gun. Uh, you know, typically the handle. But uh, I mean, uh, with a with a good holster uh, inside the waistband holster, you know this this is a very good concealment weapon. Um, it comes with two mags. Um, they gave me two pinky extensions, which I don't know why they did that. I thought that it comes with a, uh, I thought it would can't come with a uh, uh, extended mag. But when I opened the box, there was nothing in there. So I was just like, hmm, that's all right. I'll just go ahead and just buy it, you know. Um, but it comes with two mags. This is indeed a nine millimeter. Um, I went ahead and I bought some, uh, some RIP ammunition. Uh, because it's a nine millimeter, I didn't, you know, if I want to put somebody down, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna put somebody down, um, which are, you know, pretty much these nasty round. These are a very nasty round. I think when I get a 45, maybe like a 1911, I'll get some uh, 45s in these. Uh, well, these in 45s, I should say. Um, as you can see, they're a lot different than your regular standard nine millimeter um, full metal jacket you know, bullet, you know, but, uh, you know, yeah, man, I wanted to go ahead and get that, pick that one up, but, uh, you know, it is a nine millimeter made by Ruger. It has the, uh, 1911 style, um, you know, safe safety switch on it. All right. Ambidextrous, uh, magazine release. Uh, the, uh, decocker is not ambidextrous, okay? It's, uh, pretty easy to, to pull apart. Um, it's not, it doesn't have a, uh, it doesn't have a, um, what do you call it? A, uh, a takedown lever. All right. It's just pretty much, there's a pin on the other side of this gun. Um, I'm not going to show you the other side cause that's where my serial number is, but there's a, uh, you know, a pin that you have to push in. You have to use like maybe the back side of a ballpoint pen to push in that button. And then you take that, you know, that pin out. And then once you uh, have it, uh, you know, cocked, there's a lever in the inside where the, you know, um, where uh, inside of the chamber or whatnot, um, you'd have to push down. And once you push that down, the whole gun comes apart pretty much. The slide comes forward, and then you can take it out. So, uh, oh, also it comes with a um, speed loader, all right, which is really handy. I mean, the, the, the speed loader is pretty much universal. It'll work on any damn um, uh, magazine damn near. All right, this is the box, RIP. And... I mean, this is this is really a nasty round because I mean, it, this is exactly what it does. Okay, it enters in the host, and then once it goes in, the the fragments disperse, and this this shit can hit multiple organs or whatnot, and then the base continues to go uh, straight for another twelve inches. So, um, you know, it's it's a pretty nasty round. I mean, it acts like a hollow point. I mean, I don't know if you would consider this a hollow point, I would say. But then once it enters in, you know, these fragments, these, these little copper pieces here will break apart. And, I mean, it'll, it'll cause some damage, man. So, um, you know, for the brothers that are out there who are trying to, um, you know what I'm saying, obtain firearms or whatnot. I mean, if you want a concealed carry weapon, this is a good concealed carry weapon. All right. You know, I paid around four hundred. Let's see, four hundred and fifty bucks for this, which I think I paid a little bit too much. But 
I mean, uh, you know, with my P220, um, I'm sorry, my P250, I think it was a little more bulky on the bulkier side, and it, it wasn't as comfortable uh, for me for a concealed carry. So I may just maybe, you know, I may just convert that out to a 40, um, a 40 cal. And, um, you know, because I can, I think with the 40 cal, if I want to upgrade the barrel to a 40, um, I could still keep the frame, but I would have to, you know, I, I think I could keep the slide too, but I would just have to basically switch out the barrel. Um, I mean, if that's, if that's not the case, please somebody tell me and let me know. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, that, that's pretty much it. I just want to get you guys, I'm going to let you guys see what I, what I got here. Um, cause I'm, you know, I'm all trying, you know, I'm all about trying to, you know, educate my brothers and make sure that they're packing and, uh, that's pretty much it.